Hey guys, this time I'm going to show you how to remove the gear shift linkage, the oil pump, and the flywheel. Continuing where we left off, the next thing to remove is the gear shift linkage. The gear shift has a handful of pieces, the biggest of which goes all the way through the crankcase and is only held in place by spring pressure and friction on the shifter seal. Wriggle it free and pull it out. Next, remove the 10mm bolt holding the shift drum stopper arm in place. The arm and washer should come right out. Last, we'll pull out the shift drum stopper plate bolt, which is also 10mm, and the stopper plate comes right out. Now, we'll remove the oil pump. Start by pulling off the oil pump driven gear. Nothing holding on, just slide it right off. Now the oil pump itself. It's held to the crankcase by three 10 mm bolts, and there's also an extra eight mm bolt that holds the two halves of the oil pump together. With all four bolts removed, the outer half comes off pretty easily. The inner half has a protruding cylinder that is friction fit to a cavity inside the crankcase by an O-ring, so you need to pull it away from the crank first, and then kind of pivot the bottom towards you to get it out from under the gear. Another component that needs to come off is the primary drive gear. It's held on by just one nut, another 24 millimeter. I still haven't bought a jumbo set of metric sockets, so I'll use my 15 16ths again. The primary drive gear sits on a rotating shaft that needs to be stationary in order to loosen the nut. Honda sells some special tools to do this, but I just stuffed a shop towel inside the crankcase. The crankshaft only has so much clearance and a thick wad of towel interfering with that clearance is enough to stop it from rotating. Alright, now on to the left side of the engine. The flywheel and starter motor gearing is behind the left crankcase cover, which is held on by 9 8mm bolts. With the bolts out, you need to pull the cover straight off due to a couple of dowel pins. I found that these two little nubbins really helped with providing the grip needed to pull it off. Once it's unstuck from the gasket, there's also some magnetic retention here. Shouldn't be too hard, just pull it off. With the cover off, we can pull off the starter motor reducing gear and shaft. You also need to disconnect the neutral switch connector on the right side there. It's just a bullet style single conductor. Take a firm grip and pull straight back. Last but not least, we'll turn our attention to the flywheel. There are two things holding this guy in place, the bolt and friction on the shaft. First is the flywheel bolt, 17 millimeters. Again, we've got a rotating shaft, so stuff a shop towel into the crankcase and loosen the bolt. This was on pretty tight, so I ended up clamping my engine stand to the workbench and eventually it came off. To get the flywheel off the shaft, you basically need to pull this unwieldy thing with a pretty significant amount of force. The Honda engine designers thoughtfully included a handful of threads here to allow you to use their special tool like a jack screw. Basically you tighten a 20mm bolt with carefully machined end, and when the bolt bottoms out, any additional torque applied will force the flywheel off the shaft. If you have a 20 millimeter bolt, you could try that, but honestly, you should probably just spend 10 bucks on Amazon and get the actual tool. No sugar coating this, I screwed up pretty bad. While researching this, I thought that the jacking threads were the inside ones that the bolt was using, and so I tried to use the bolt to force the flywheel off. I got a 6 millimeter hex bit and used that as a standoff, and then torqued the bejesus out of it. Ultra pro tip here, don't do that. I damaged the threads at the end of my bolt, I destroyed my 6mm hex bit, and I probably damaged the female threads as well. Might need to add that to the list of parts that I need to replace. Big oof. Anyways, when I did the right thing with the right tool, the flywheel came off without issue. So I guess that's enough for this time. Thanks for watching.